I did a post recently on Instagram. Let me see if I can pull that up on office jargon. And Alex, it went bananas. Uh, yeah, here it is. Oh, oh boy. There it is. Synergy, circle back, bandwidth, low hanging fruit, touch base. Yeah. How about that? Any of those drive you nuts? Yeah. Uh, so here are a few more. And by the way, if you want to submit these, we'll have some more fun with this. So ask at KenColma.com. So here are a few more. And then I'm going to share some Ramsey uh, solutions jargon that is overused. And I'll let the team, if you all need to get something off your chest, this is your moment as well. And we'll just blame our, we'll tell the team it was Ken's idea. Uh, okay, here, here's here's some uh, overused uh, jargon. Uh, we found some surveys online. The new normal. Oh, yeah. New normal. The media wore that one out. Uh, politicians uh, during the pandemic and post-pandemic wore the new normal out. Uh, here's another one. Let's take this offline. That drives me nuts because we're not online. I'm looking at you. You you just said you want to take this offline. Uh, that ear t- I get that one. Wait, 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 just say, hey, can we talk this about it? Can we talk about this later? No, we got to say, let's take this offline. I didn't know we were streaming. Are we streaming online? I didn't know that. I thought we were in a meeting. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. This one was big during the pandemic, right? Unprecedented. Everybody was talking about we're in unprecedented times. By the way, we were. But it only takes about 48 hours for a word to get beat to death. Unprecedented. Uh, very interesting. Now, uh, how about this one? This word is the new Kleenex. See, Kleenex is a brand of tissues. I believe they call them facial tissues. But Kleenex was like the first to market or the first something, something. And so everybody's like, hey, hand me a Kleenex, which is brilliant. It's like saying, hey, go Xerox this. Well, Xerox was the name of the copier. Well, Zoom has now joined that pantheon of brands that are now somewhat synonymous with the thing. So we'll say, hey, let's uh, let's do a Zoom. When what we're really doing is we're doing a video conference. But we're, we, hey, let's Zoom. Let's let's uh, jump on. Let's jump on a Zoom. Well, no, we're not jumping on a Zoom. We're jumping on a video conference call. But everything is Zoom this, Zoom that. Uh, and then here's another one that falls in line with the new normal, unprecedented times uh we need to pivot now i regret this because i like to say pivot it's a good word uh it is a functional word in the type of advice i give but alex is a good point it's been overused well you need to pivot you need to pivot well at some point you need to shoot the daggone ball right if we're using the true basketball analogy uh okay so we got so i'm going to move to so i decided to come up with my own list of pet peeve phrases that we use at Ramsey Solutions. You're looking at Nathan with a big smile on your face. It makes me very nervous about what's the, what's about to happen. Because it occurs to me you all could come up with a list of things I say every day that you all get irritated with. Is that what's happening? I can handle it. Okay, here's a couple things we say at Ramsey. It feels like everybody says it, and it's overused. One is uh, white space. Now, I don't know if you people out there know what that is. But And I don't even know where it comes from, honestly. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to do something really quick. I'm not even sure if I type in white space on, on, the, uh, on the interweb, if there's an actual definition for it. Maybe there is. This is going to be really refreshing. Let's see what happens. We're not talking about white noise. We're talking about white space. Uh, what is meant by white space? The areas of a page... Without print or pictures. Yeah. What is white space in life? Uh, where we have time to pause and reflect or go for a walk or just be. So we're using it wrong, Alex. So the way, so I, I can't wait for our next meeting. I'm going to expose this. This is very exciting. So we use it at Ramsey Solutions. We say, oh, we got to get out to white space. That means people that are outside of Ramsey Solution tribe, right? So people that aren't regular watchers or viewers of whether it's the Ramsey show or my show or any of the other personality shows, that's what we call white space. Well, they don't know about Ken yet. Well, that's the whole freaking world. We call it white space. I don't even know what it means. It doesn't mean what we say it means. All right, next. 
This one drives me crazy. Um, people say, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this out loud. No, I'm, I mean, let's just say it out loud. Well, you, you just said it out loud. You, what we, when you say it out loud, what does that mean? Because when I say anything, it's out loud. If I think something, well, I'm thinking something. But if I say something, have you heard it? Have you said that? I'm just going to say this out loud. As opposed to saying it silently. It drives me crazy. All right, I took up all the time. You guys can tell me your pet peeves later. There it is, folks. Don't use office jargon. Mix it up a little bit. They'll help your personal brand.